This time I want to show you a steel plate target that my friend David at Hoplite Tactical Supplies gave me recently. And this is the first steel target I've tried. It has the obvious advantage of giving you immediate acoustic feedback. When you hit it, it'll give off a pretty loud ring that you can hear through ear protection as well. So that's quite nice. And it is made of Brynell 500, which is equivalent to AR500 steel. It has a diameter of 8 inches or 20 centimeters, and the thickness is 3 eighths of an inch or 9.5 millimeters. When shooting a plate like this, it's recommended that you stay at least 25 meters away if you're firing handgun cartridges, and at least 100 meters in case of rifle calibers. That is, of course, to avoid the risk of ricochets going your way. So far, I've fired mainly 5.56 NATO ammunition at it, made by Norinco, fairly hot loads, so pretty high velocity. And I also tried some non-steel core 762 by 39 and some 22 long rifle. The center of the plate has held up very well so far. There is only some minor damage so the surface got a little bit chipped here and there nothing major yet the only issue is this kind of plate is plasma cut out of the material and that transfers a lot of heat to the edges so basically the the tempering on the edges is pretty much ruined and you can tell where Wherever shots impact around the edge of the plate, you get definitely more significant damage. Let's see right there, there's a chunk broken off. And you can see here, there are some cracks starting to form. So that's of course a problem, and eventually, if more hits land around here, this may simply break off. We've got some damage here. And also cracks starting here, so that seems to be a problem. Keep in mind this is going to be more of an issue when you're using this for zeroing your sights, which is exactly what I did when I shot at this my sights weren't perfectly adjusted yet so hence quite a few hits that are not center eventually these here might break off if that happens you could just drill extra holes in the plate which might be difficult considering how hard and tough the steel is but it might be possible to fix that. So I have some concerns about long-term durability, seeing how the edges here get chewed up by shots. It's uh, not a problem when your shots stay more or less in the center of the plate, or at least you know far enough away from the edges. So it could last for a very long time in that case, but whenever a stray shot does hit here, yeah, you see issues start developing. But a steel target is definitely very nice to use. It is really satisfying to get that, you know, loud ringing sound whenever you, you do hit it. So uh, it's definitely good for practice. I certainly like using it. We'll see how long it lasts. If, or I should say when it eventually breaks, I'll give you an update to see how long it lasted. But um, yeah, generally, if you plan to use handguns, no problem. I don't expect handguns to do any substantial damage even to the edges, so that should be fine. So if you want to give one of these a try, you can find them at Hoplite Tactical Supplies for $47.99 Canadian dollars. And I'm going to post the link to the store down below in the description. And uh, well, since I know Dave, I can tell you that he's a good guy, so you don't have to worry about you know reliability. Anyway, good store, and uh, he has pretty good prices in general. Hope you found this helpful, and thanks for watching.
Here's where I hit the target at 100 yards. This is with 22 long rifle. This is with 5.56. Five, Set it. 